I'm still surprised at the amount of business owners I come across who can't understand why they are not getting any new clients despite having invested a lot of money on a shiny new website. Well, here is one of the reasons why. This is the number of new websites being published every minute of every day. So if you think publishing a website alone is enough to drum up some business, then think again, as you're probably not the only one. There is so much competition out there that your website is probably drowning amongst many other sites like yours. But beside the competition, how do you truly check if your website is working for you and if you're getting your money's worth? In today's video, I'm going to show you five key signs you can check to really understand if your website is effective or if it's simply an overpriced online brochure that nobody is looking at and what you need to do about it to make it work. Hi there, my name is Luke Durand, the founder of RankingAcademy.co.uk, where I talk about the best tools, tips and ways to promote your local business online, step by step and click by click. On my channel, I cover everything any local business owner needs to know from search engine optimization to social media. My goal is to help you thrive online so you can drive more visitors to your business and ultimately make more money. If you're new here, consider subscribing and clicking on the bell button so you don't miss any of my new videos. One last thing, don't forget to check out the description below, which is where I put additional notes and links I refer to in this tutorial. So if you're ready, let's jump right in. Sign number one, does your website get any visitors? Yes, I know for some of you, this is a very basic question, but for many business owners, when I ask the question, how many visitors on average does your website get daily? The response is just a blank stare. Why don't you know? If you open a brick and mortar store and no customer walk through the door, wouldn't you be worried? Same rule applies to your website. If you've built a website and you have no visitors, then you should be worried. And you have no excuse since you have all the tools you need at your fingertips. The most common one being Google Analytics. If you haven't installed Google Analytics yet, check my video called Google Analytics Setup and install for WordPress and Wix. That should help. Once installed, simply log into your business profile and click on the acquisition section on the left-hand side menu and click on overview. You will see at a glance if your website is getting any visitors, where your visitors are coming from and much more. It should only take you a few seconds. You can even install the Google Analytics app on your phone and check your site's performance from anywhere. So you really have no excuse. If the number of visitors is low, then the chances are your website is not working for you. And that may be because your business is not ranking well in search engines or more specifically in Google, which is the second sign we are going to look at. Sign number two is your website ranking for any keyword. For most local businesses, organic traffic is the biggest source of visitors to their website. But that's only if your business ranks for keywords people are searching for. If you don't know whether your site is ranking for any specific keywords, just go to neilpatel.com slash ubersuggest. Enter your domain name in the field and click on search. On the left hand side menu, click on keywords. This should bring up a list of keywords your site is ranking for along with their positions in Google search. If you cannot see any keyword ranking between position 1 and 10, then it means your website is unlikely getting any traffic from Google. Why? Because the top 10 results are on page 1 of Google and hardly anyone goes to page 2. Even if you see keywords ranking between position 5 and 10, you will only get a tiny amount of visitors because most people who conduct a search in Google click on the top 5 results. So, what can you do if you are not ranking for any decent keyword between position 1 and 5? Backlinks to your site influence greatly your overall keyword rankings. So, it is likely you need to build links pointing to your site to reinforce your website authority and increase your rankings. If you want to know how, watch my video called Local Citations and Link Building. But if you do have keywords ranking between 1 and 10 and the phone is still not ringing, it may be because of sign number 3. Sign number 3. Is your website content good enough? 
Most people who search for local services online have a very clear objective in mind. Their intent is often to call a business to either request more information about a specific service they provide, make an appointment or fill in a quick form to request a quote. It is therefore extremely important you include a call to action in the form of a button or a phone number on your pages that sits above the fold. If you are unfamiliar with the above the fold concept, here is a quick explanation. In web design, what is known as above the fold is a portion of a web page that is visible in a browser window once the page has finished loading. Information accessible only by scrolling down the page is what is known as below the fold. Having a call to action above the fold will ease the decision making process of the users. They won't have to search frantically where or how they can get in touch with you as it will be right in front of their eyes. All they need to do is click or tap. So if your web pages don't have a clear call to action on them, just add one. This applies to both desktop and mobile devices, which now accounts for more than half the visitors any website receives, which leads me to sign four. Sign number four, is your website mobile friendly? With the explosion of mobile phones and tablets a few years ago, internet traffic coming from handheld devices has exploded and even overtook desktop internet traffic. If you run a website, it's paramount. It is compatible with multiple screen resolutions and more specifically with mobile phones. The way your website will be seen on different screen types will affect the user experience, but it has also become part of Google's algorithm, so it shouldn't be ignored. If your website is not compatible for smaller screens, you're going to lose out on a big chunk of visitors. Look at this example. Half the content cannot be accessed on a mobile phone. Here is a quick tip to check if your website is compatible on multiple screens. Go to Google Chrome, install Google Chrome if you haven't yet, and type your web address in the search bar. Right click anywhere on the page and select the option Inspect. On the right hand side panel, click on the phone icon in the menu bar. This will show you what your site looks like on a mobile device on the left panel. To change the screen resolution type, just use the drop down menu above the website where you can check what your site looks like on different mobile screen sizes and tablets. So, what should you do if your site is not compatible with handheld devices? You simply need to redesign the whole thing so it is mobile friendly. But beware, having a mobile friendly site nowadays is not enough. And this is what I will be talking about in sign number five. Sign number five, is your website fast enough? You've probably heard this expression from the Greek fabulist named Aesop, who said, slow but steady wins the race. Since Aesop was born in 620 BCE, there was clearly no internet. Otherwise, he would probably say something different. In today's digital world, speed is everything, and that includes how fast your website is loading. According to a Google study, 53% of mobile site visits leave a page that takes longer than three seconds to load. After three seconds, you will lose half of your visitors. That's not a long time to make an impression. So how do you check if your site is fast enough? Use the PageSpeed Insights tool provided by Google. Enter your website address in the field and click on Analyze. Wait for a few seconds and you should get a result ranging between 0 and 100. The nearer your site is to 100, the better it is. Don't panic too much if you see a low score. Even some of the major websites out there don't get it right. Look at Amazon for instance. You can see the full breakdown of where improvement can be made when you scroll down the page. To be honest, a lot of the breakdown data is meaningless to me. So if your site is very slow, the solution is to either talk to your service provider and see what can be done by showing them those numbers or ask a professional for help with optimization. The importance of speed is likely to increase significantly in the coming months. So the sooner you do this, the better it will be. That's it for today. Check those five signs now to see if your website is working hard for you. And if it isn't, then start acting today. It will pay off very soon, I promise. 
If you have any questions in the meantime, post them in the comments below and I will personally respond to them. If you want to see more videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe. If you can, give me a quick thumbs up. I will be really appreciative. And until next time, happy marketing.